Hello, this is Dr. Kathleen King, and this is part two of shifting mold and environmental sensitivity patterns for those who have a history of growing up in trauma as a child. So let's begin this attunement by first of all coming into our heart center and breathing into our heart to get into a state of heart brain coherence and to be able to get into the present moment to be able to just be still and be able to receive the attunement. So what I'd like you to do is just breathe a five second in breath into the heart and a five second out breath. Just coming into the present moment, repeating that pattern, bringing all your energy right here, exhaling, just saying I am here right now in this body nothing to do keep breathing nowhere to go just being right here listening to these words for the purpose of a brain rewiring remodeling session so breathing in and I'd like you to also ground your energy by breathing into your heart and seeing a ball of golden light in the heart and sending that light down your spine all the way down your grounding cord down into the center of the earth just intend to connect a line of light from your heart center down into the center of the earth. Feeling grounded. Very good. And any energies that are released in the attunement, any emotions that might arise, we're just going to intend to send all of that energy and emotion down through the grounding cord into the earth. Okay? Okay. We don't need to keep any excessive emotional energy in our field. Once it's come up, we just file it into the past and we send it down the grounding cord. Okay. I also want you to just connect into your heart center and imagine a line of light from your heart coming up out the top of your head all the way up into the central sun to source, to God, to whatever resonates for you, just connecting to greater love and light that is sending your vital force through your body very good and just breathing into the heart now the purpose of this attunement is to help you shift old outdated solutions of how you might have reacted to your environment as a child in order to be safe but you're all grown up now and those old solutions are outdated and we no longer need that filter of overreacting to the environment in order to be safe. And we no longer need to solve unsolvable problems, to solve an unsolvable environment, but rather learn how to be the creator within that environment. So the purpose, again, is to just resolve old patternings so your subconscious knows this. That's why I'm telling the subconscious the purpose of the attunement to be able to have greater ease and to be able to have greater health and vitality and to feel better, but in a new way with a new solution, a new pattern. It's all about creating a new brain state with a new pattern, a new identity pattern, a new personality pattern that allows the vital life force to flow through the body with greater ease. So let's begin by bringing to mind an ideal future situation where your body is healthy and strong, where you are full of health and vitality, and bring to mind what that might feel like to be running that biochemistry of health, vitality, maybe seeing yourself walking, exercising, maybe you're running on a beach, maybe you're hiking, Maybe you're just getting a lot of things done and you have a lot of energy. So just seeing a future scenario. And this is the future brain patterning. So bring to mind what it feels like to be running this new brain patterning. You are the creator of your brain patterning. You can shift it. It's possible, even if it's been a long time since you felt this way. What would be a healthy brain patterning what would it feel like in your body if you trusted your body 
could handle any movement you wanted to do, could handle any situation. It's possible. Many, many people have done this. It's possible for you too. You've got to find the willingness to let go of your past stories in order to do it though. So what does it feel like in your body? And what are you eating when you're feeling this vibrant health? What is your home like? How are you spending your time? This is your vital life that you're creating. And I want you to notice what it's like in your environment, in this healthy future scenario. You're not scanning your environment for things that are out of your control, but rather your focus is on what you want to create, how you want to spend your day, how you want to exercise, what you want to output. You have a different focus. You have a creative focus. Rather than fixing problems, you're thinking about what you want to create. So imagine, what is it that you want to create? Very good. Now, I want you to drop into the very past timeline, maybe as a child. And how was it different for you? How was your creative focus different? Were you more focused on survival, protection, fixing, perfectionism, being quiet, noticing problems? What was different? Maybe starting as a young child and then just taking a snapshot of each moment, bringing that into the active experience of the difference between what it's like to be in a body that is focused on creating and health versus a child that might have been in mm, overwhelm or in a young adult that was focusing on fixing or avoiding or maybe early in your career focusing on mm, being a workaholic or distracting How are you in your environment? And what's your body been like? Now coming into the current reality, what's your body been like in the last year? What's it felt like for you? What's been different? Just bringing the patterning of what it's been like into the active experience so it can be seen. It's all about just lighting up brain patterns. So what's been different? And noticing that a long time ago, you probably came up with an old solution of how to handle things that you didn't like, how to handle environments that you didn't like, people you didn't like, things that were overwhelming. Old solutions, focusing on the problem, focusing on fixing the problem, focusing on others, focusing on wanting to fix others. These are old solutions. And that's just bringing them to the active experience. All right. And now I want you to go back forward, back to the future reality again. So we're going to toggle. What is the new solution that you've come up with in your new created reality with your healthy body? You have to have a new solution to change things. So what's the new solution of how you want to be in your environment? Around people that might be doing things that you don't like or an environment that's imperfect. Might a new solution be for you to focus on creating a life you love and letting them do them. Maybe focusing on creating an environment that you like to be in by having it decorated beautifully or enjoying your time there, playing beautiful music, but not fixing and noticing problems. Maybe focusing on having fun vacations and fun adventures and Uh, Taking charge of creating that rather than blaming others that you don't get to do what you want. What are some of the creative solutions? You could even pause here and write some of these out before you continue on with the attunement. In fact, I would recommend that, pausing, writing out what the old solutions were, what the old way of feeling in your body was, and what the new solutions are, and what the new way you want to feel in your body is. So if you need to pause and write that out, that can be really helpful. 
All right. So if you would, please give me permission to connect with the higher superconscious self to help with memory reconsolidation and repatterning. And just say, I give Kathleen permission to connect with the higher self, which is just a level of consciousness that is a higher frequency where we all are able to connect. It's the consciousness that knew how to grow you up and knows how to grow plants and knows all of your memories and everything. So we're just connecting to that level of consciousness in the quantum field for the attunement. All right. Higher superconscious self connecting with you now. For all those that are listening, higher self, please find the original solution created in the environment that was toxic. A long time ago, there was an original solution created of how to handle that toxic environment, how to handle the problems, how to handle the overwhelm, how to handle being in that sensitive body. Please find that original event that created a solution and created a part-time personality focused on fixing the environment. Please bring that part forward for memory reconsolidation. Thank you. Bringing forward any parts that were created that were focused on fixing the environment as a solution. The solution is now outdated and a new solution is being asked to be in place. Please open up the memory file of that original event that created that part-time personality that became hyper-focused on fixing an environment that was outside of the control of the child. Please exchange information with this part-time personality, with this neural pathway, with the present moment to show that child that that solution was an impossible solution of trying to correct an environment that no child should have to correct and that there's another solution to help that child cope with that situation that's much healthier. Higher self, please bring in the new solution in the perfect way, the perfect solution for whoever is listening for their perfect, for their environment to help them get through that time and readjust that part-time personality sharing information with the present, coming up with a new solution to handle that environment so that as the child grows up, the hyper-focus of fixing external chemicals or toxins is not the proper solution for handling emotional difficulties in life. Thank you. Just breathe through your heart. Just observe, nothing you need to do. You don't even need to figure the solution out. The higher self knows what it is. Breathing through the heart. Allowing your memories to be remodeled, to exchange information with the current reality, with all you know about the truth of environmental toxicity and brain rewiring. And that it was just a solution you created to cope with emotional challenges at the time. And there are other ways of coping that you know now, which is to be the creator of your reality. Higher self, please send the frequency of love, light, compassion into that child self, into that part-time personality, and allow that solution to continue to merge with the adult main personality in the current timeline, updating its information and decreasing the vigilant response and instead focusing on being a creator, living a life you love. And what would you like to do today to have fun, to run life force through you? How can you make your environment today healthy by dancing, smiling, playing music or any other creative solution? Higher self also bring forward the part-time personality that created resistance to the people in the environment. That original event that decided to start resisting what other people are doing as a solution and becoming hyper-focused and vigilant on what other people are doing as a solution. Please bring that part forward, that memory event. And thank this part for trying to create the best solution it could at the time. 
it could tell that it didn't want to be part of that emotional frequency that those people were running. And it was just trying to create a solution. And as a child, all it could do was resist. Resist and notice what was going wrong and might even feel hopeless or helpless at being able to be a creator of their own reality because they're a child and they didn't know how to do that. They didn't know how to create their own reality as a child to come up with maybe their own uh, creative play area or be able to appropriately create boundaries. So that solution didn't exist in that old timeline. Higher self bringing forward that old timeline into the current timeline, bringing forward that old original event, opening up that file, making edits, performing a massive change of history of that old solution of just resisting people around us to create safety. Instead, higher super conscious self, please perform a massive change of history and come up with a new solution. We're in this current timeline. We can create appropriate boundary and let people be themselves and focus on being our own creator. Shifting consciousness out of victim reality, out of victim consciousness into a creative orientation. Higher self, please bring that information into that past timeline, bringing that child a creative orientation and rewriting that history. The brain doesn't know the difference between the past and the present and the future. Just breathing through the heart, seeing your child as a creative, seeing the child dancing, creating, being themselves even in a situation where others were doing things they didn't like and growing that child up into the current timeline where you can let people be them and stop resisting them and blaming them for your life and choosing to create your life, choosing to take yourself on your own adventures, choosing to create create in your own home. How can you be the creator of your life? This is what opens your life force. This is what opens up your life force, your vital force that runs your body and repatterns the filter in your brain from focusing on the environment, focusing on others, and instead focusing on being a creator right higher self please uh, send any emotions that were released down the crowning cord please continue to repattern all memory structures that are are uh, being remodeled whether it's being remodeled right now while you're listening or again later remodeling all memory structures and grounding these new patterns into the energy field into the matrix, into the unconscious mind, into the conscious mind, so that new solutions are more available. That's what this is about, guys. Repatterning the brain to be able to be in a brain state of new solutions, a new identity, a new personality that's caught up to the current timeline. Thank you, higher self, for this attunement. And as we finish, just... Again, bring this future self, this self full of vitality that's repatterned itself, that's got new solutions. Just what would you be doing? How does it feel in your body? How does it feel to have vital force running through your body and to be living a life you love in any environment? Because you've changed your focus. That's right. Teaching the body a new patterning. Moving from victim to creator. All right, disconnecting now. Thank you for listening.